for it. Hey, this is Sebastian from the Metal Gods Meltdown, and this evening I'm joined by... Uh, Morten Verlam from uh, Serenia. It's great to be chatting to you this evening. Congratulations on your new album, Riddles, Runes and Revelations. How pleased are you with the response so far from media and fans? Uh, thank you very much. Um, the response has been great. Um, it was uh, a little bit uh, mixed response when we uh, released um, our first single. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with um, the song being, you know, very, very different from uh, everything that we had done in the past. And um, maybe the change was uh, a bit too too much for some of the fans. Um, uh, but but you, as soon as the the whole album was out, um, and they could hear you know like the the variety uh, on the album, and there's plenty of songs there which has you know like the typical uh, typical Serenia uh, sound to it, and um, so I think it's a very diverse and varied album that had a little bit for everybody, and uh, it seemed that you know um, as soon as the whole album was out, that everybody was uh, was happy about this album. We, we received a lot of great reviews and uh, a lot of great uh, uh, feedback on the album in, in general. Brilliant. Would you say this is your band's ultimate release, as it is without a doubt a symphonic masterpiece? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> normally you kind of have that feeling every time you release an album, you know, it's... Uh, Two, two years of hard work and, and you put so much effort and, and energy and, and focus into making an album. Um, and so it always, you know, it, it feels like, you know, you're, you're releasing something special, you know, something that you worked so, so hard on for such a long time. And um, we definitely have that feeling on this album as well. Uh, it's, you know, something that we really poured a lot of ourselves into and um, we feel really happy with the way uh, that the album uh, turned out. So um, yeah, I mean, we're we're really excited about the about the new album, and um, now we're obviously you know looking forward to uh, the COVID situation getting under control, so that we can uh, finally uh, go back on tour again and, and also perform the the new material live. Absolutely. How difficult has it been to release an album during COVID? And it just seems to be not stopping does it at the moment it must have been really difficult um if you cannot get out on tour do you plan to do some kind of live streaming of the album uh, making the album was was kind of complicated and for sure yeah um uh, most of the songs were were written um it was pretty much just minor details remaining uh at the time when the covid broke out with full force here in europe um and just a few days after that, uh, Emmanuel was supposed to fly into Norway and we were support, uh, supposed to start uh, the recording sessions. Um, and uh, then her flight got canceled and and everything, you know, and then it was, <laughs> you know, trying to rebook the ticket again and again and again. And it turned out to be a, a, a very complicated thing. And in the end, you know, the the entire album was postponed for about uh, six months um, due to the situation. And, um, you know, we were trying to find uh, new solutions um, the whole time, you know, although it was really hard, you know, because we, we couldn't really uh, predict even what's what was going to happen, what would be the situation the next week, you know. So um, we try to, to plan and adapt uh, to the best of our possibilities, but, you know, a lot of the solutions we came up with ended up being, you know, canceled again and again and, and so on. And also for um, shooting photo material and making the music video, uh, we also had to think really alternatively uh, to, to make that happen. Uh, so yeah it was it was a very different album to make you know totally different uh compared to everything else that we have done in the past um uh, so even the greater you know the feeling of of um having uh completed and finalized this album and and also uh on the release day you know it was a, a huge huge uh relief and uh and uh and it felt like a like, like the greatest accomplishment ever in in many ways. 
I can imagine. <clears throat> so if you can't get out on tour, then are there plans to do some sort of streaming? Uh, yeah, I mean, we we had that um, we had that idea uh, in our minds, and we were looking kind of into it. Um, still, for us, it's uh, a little bit complicated uh, with the band being more or less spread all over Europe. Um, I'm uh, living here in the southwest of Norway, and uh, our drummer lives in Birmingham, in England. Um, our uh, guitar player lives in Paris, and our singer lives in the in the south of France. Um, so you know, it's it's would still be very complicated for us, and it would be also um, um, quite costly to make it in, happen in in the way that we would like it to happen. Uh, so, and at some point, you know, when they first started the, um, uh, the streaming uh, concerts, it was a really huge thing in the start. Uh, and then sort of pretty much everybody was doing it. And so after a time, also the market kind of really went down, you know, so you couldn't really expect. Uh, at some point it was, you know, if you did like a big production uh, and set up something really cool, uh, there would even be like a small chance of, uh, of not being able to to cover the costs even you know so at, at some point we kind of had to make, make that decision uh, and so we decided to um to to put that on hold a bit uh, i mean it would be if the whole band was living in the same city it would have been so much easier to do something nice uh on a on a on a better budget so to say so uh, it would would make more sense uh, to make it happen but uh at some point we decided just to to put that on hold i can understand that <clears throat> so looking at the end of the year have you got any tours planned or festival appearances even i mean everything's just still up in the air isn't it have you got anything it, i mean it's yeah uh, difficult isn't it it's... <clears throat> yeah for the for this year it seems uh, that pretty much uh, all the plans that we had will be moved for for next year. Um, so uh, I don't really have any any expectations for this year. I mean, maybe November, December, um, maybe some possibilities will open up. Um, you know, by the very end of the year. Um, but it seems like uh, like uh, most most of the things will be uh, postponed for for twenty twenty two. Early. Okay, tell me, what, tell me which is your favourite track on the album today and why? Um, I think I still, you know, uh, I really like the first single that we did, uh, Addiction Number no. 1. Um, I think it's a really, uh, really catchy song. It a, has a kind of a modern vibe to it. Uh, feels very new and, and fresh to me. Um, it's kind of a untypical Serenia song and uh, you know that has always been one of our goals when uh, releasing a new album we always want to to try to bring something fresh and new to the table with every album um, and I think definitely that song is, is probably the song that represents that the most uh, so to speak so I think maybe even today you know that is my definitely one of my my favorites I would say Right, the album artwork is always awesome for your band's work. Do you have a lot of the artwork scattered around your home? Um, no, not really. Uh, most of the time, the artwork ends up on the on the CD vinyl or or the T-shirts or our merchandise. Uh, but I really don't have. Um, I used to have uh, many years back, but but now most of it is um, in storage. Um, so I, I don't really have uh, have much of it up right now. I was thinking maybe to put some of it up in, in my studio at some point, but uh, I still didn't get uh, get that far. Okay. All right. Next one, going back to COVID. Sorry about that. But we're, you're stuck in quarantine for a year. Which musician or band, dead or alive, would you have with you? Huh. I think I would like to have my own band. <laughs> You know, uh, it's, I really do miss them. You know, I haven't seen them. Um, uh, Emmanuel, I saw her the last time in August uh, last year. Um, and the other guys, I didn't see them since December 2019. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's been a really 
really long time, you know. So um, having the whole whole band together again is just something that I'm really really looking forward to. Just you know, even if it's just you know sitting around and having a beer together and and catching up and um, and you know. Yeah, really looking forward to um, to be together with the guys again and s- start playing again and and all that. So uh, it's it's been a a long 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 time uh, for sure. It it feels like an eternity, you know. Um, so uh, yeah, I really can't can't wait for for things to get back to a more normal state so uh, we can start traveling again and touring and and do all these things that we we all miss so much. Hey. So going back to happier days, what would you say is the most memorable performance you've ever performed at with Serenia? Um, there has definitely been quite some some great moments uh, throughout the years. Uh, it's I get this question, and it's I always find it a little bit hard to to uh, to name like one specific uh, moment. Uh, there's been many, but I. You know, definitely think um, performing at uh, some of the biggest festivals uh, is is really up there with like you know last as the greatest moments. You know, performing on, on back in open air, summer breeze open air, and grass pop metal meeting, and and masters of rock, and and these kind of festivals. You know, uh, performing our music in in front of really huge crowds it's always something that is it's make a huge impression you know it's something really really special if you could still credit for any song that's been written by someone else which one would you choose um that's also a very difficult question uh, if i had to pick one song maybe Waiting for the Miracle uh, by Leonard Cohen, which has been one of my absolute favorite artists since I was a, a little kid, you know, for, for as long as I can remember back into my childhood. Uh, uh, I was always a huge, huge fan of his music and still am today, and especially his lyrics, you know, it's uh, definitely one of the absolutely best writers of all time, I would say, in music. So. Uh, yeah, if I would be credited that song, I, I would definitely uh, been very proud. Can you complete this sentence, especially in these weird days? Um, everybody needs Serenia in their lives because... Uh, yeah, that's a difficult one. <laughs> uh, the type of questions that I'm, I'm not really, really good at. Uh, uh, I really can't come up with anything. Uh, it's all right. Anything it's intelligent right. to, to answer right. on that. That's, that's all right. Okay. Uh, going back in time, growing up, what band posters did you have on your wall? Um, definitely a lot of um, uh, Guns N' Roses uh, when I was a kid. Um, Guns N' Roses, Alice Cooper, Motley Crue, Metallica. Uh, ACDC, uh, those type of bands. Um, uh, I've been a huge fan of uh, since my my early teens, um, and you know, still today, you know, I'm a big fan of all of these bands. Excellent. Um, can you give me four words to describe Morton Velland? <laughs> uh, yeah, what would that be? Um, um, very determined, um, uh, especially in terms of music, you know, um, uh, dedicated, um, and I would say absent, you know, I, I get a lot of complaints from my family that I'm not really present, uh, in many occasions and, uh, it's, it's definitely because I'm, uh, my mind is somewhere else, you know, it's in music. I'm, I'm composing in my head, you know, and I have it often, you know, people talking to me and, and they never get a response and I'm off in a, in a totally different world. Um, so I guess, that, I don't know if that's a quality, uh, 
but I think it's definitely a big part of my uh, personality. Um, and what else? Yeah, um, yeah, that's three at least. Um, three out of four is not that bad. <laughs> again, I want to thank you again for your time this evening. Do you have any final words for your fans and our listeners? Yeah, I'd like to say, you know, cheers um, to everybody. Um, stay safe and take good care of yourselves. And uh, we really can't wait, you know, to be back on the road and, um, and start making uh, concerts for you guys again. Thank you.